Hello, my wonderful Librans. I hope you all are doing amazing. In today's video, I will be tapping into the energies of those of you that are currently not in communication with your person. So as per usual, I will be starting off with an oracle and we can clarify the existing energies with tarot. Okay, uh, we have two messages here. We have mast, hiding, concealing, deception. Okay, and then we have vacate, get away, relax, have fun. Some of you may have met this person while you were traveling, okay? Or there could be some sort of physical distance between you and this individual, okay? Um, but what I see here, guys, with the first card, there may be some sort of truth that is resurfacing for you about this person. Um, or this, you know, connection, right? So something is um, being revealed and it may cause you to question, you know, this individual here, whether it's like you feel they have been wearing some sort of a false mask or there is something that they have been very dishonest about. And even if it's, you know, something you had a gut feeling about, I feel that it will, you know, your intuition will be confirmed this week. As far as the second card, if it's not about physical distance, you could be using, you know, uh, this time to take a break or do the things that you enjoy doing, right? Kind of like, um, you know, whether it's a getaway or just trying not to be consumed by thoughts of this person or this connection, okay? Um, doing things that make you feel good, right? And doing things that make you feel at ease again. So let's see what's going on here. Okay, so we have the Nine of Wands on the bottom of the deck, and we have the Knight of Swords. Okay. This is very uh, specific here, Libra, but it seems to me that someone was blocked, um, you know, followed by like a very fast-paced or quick-moving conversation. So it could be that you were conversing with this person, and maybe something was said that rubbed you the wrong way. But instead of addressing it, you chose to block this person, or vice versa. If it was on their end, they chose to block you. It almost seems to me that you guys were conversing, and it and it all happened so quickly. But someone ended up being blocked, or it could even be like a case of ghosting, just saying, you know what, I'm not going to respond, or I'm not going to speak to you anymore. Um, but Knight of Swords could be again whether it's fast moving communication it could kind of be a, it could also be read as like a harsh exchange of words so what i see is like you and this person conversing and maybe something that was said that made you feel very uneasy so you chose to cut communication entirely or again it could be energies are reversed and this person you know cut ties with you um let's start off by seeing how they're viewing you this week something that was said is causing this person to feel very very defensive that's what i'm getting here Okay. Seven of Wands. Yeah, they're viewing you in a very like defensive energy. They feel like you don't trust them. There's something that you're holding on to. But Seven of Wands is also, you know, standing your ground. So they're, you know, for example, if you communicated something to this person prior to the separation, they feel like there's no turning around or there's nothing they can possibly say to alter your your mind right now. It's like you have your mind made up, whether it's you know, if you initiate this separation, they feel like you're going to remain silent. You know, if you've given this person an ultimatum, then that's being highlighted here. But there's something about you not, um, you having your mind made up and not really being open-minded about looking at things in a different light. And Seven of Wands is, you know, you not only standing your ground, there could be a very defensive energy. That's how they're viewing you. Kind of like, you know, you don't trust the situation or you don't want to be vulnerable with them at this time. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries. We have the Queen of Wands. Okay. This person feels challenged because they're still very focused on you. Okay. 
they still have this desire towards you, but they are also, there's a level of ego. There's a level of pride. There's a level of, you know what, I don't want to show my emotions or I don't want to show that I am deeply affected by this separation. And it's interesting because we have the masked card that wanted to come out for you guys. So, you know, this is definitely someone who's not really showing you how they're feeling. Um, and, you know, this could be someone who was also wearing some sort of a false mask in the past in this connection here. It's like they feel you've gained some clarity, some sort of clarity about them, and you're not willing to hear their explanation or you feel like you know what is right and that's what you're standing by does that make sense so even if you had a conversation with this person there's an energy of them feeling like well libra is going to believe what they believe or uh, there could have been a conversation where it was more so about you felt like you were right and this person could have felt like they were right but it caused you guys to like kind of butt heads here the way that you're viewing them ace of pentacles there's some there there's almost like a part of you that wishes this connection could have been more stable but with the ace of pentacles coming out in a no contact spread some of you could be viewing this person as or this connection as like a missed opportunity like someone did not take action when they had the chance to or a connection where you saw the potential or or you you it was visible to you that it could be become something stable ended up you know kind of going left or not turning out the way that you wanted it to it seems to me that you feel like you got off on the right foot with this person. The Ace of Pentacles could be like that first or initial building block that you place uh, when you're trying to build some sort of a foundation, a stable foundation. So you may feel like, you know, you got off on the right foot. You guys were able to, you know, uh, take the first few steps and, and, you know, kind of lay a foundation there. But then it may have became um, a little rocky from that point on. So you feel like, you know, when you're thinking of this person this week, you're almost reminded of how things started off between the both of you versus how they are now. So some of you could be dealing with the Scorpio, okay? Death card in your feelings and the Four of Swords. Seems to me that you're trying to let this go. Um, you know, you're accepting the ending and Four of Swords could be using this time during the separation to actually heal from what has happened. There's, yes, the change could obviously be the fact that you're in a separation with this person, but this card also has a lot to do with internal <clears throat> internal change. So for some of you, you don't view this person in the same perspective, right? Especially if you feel like they were masking um, their emotions or they were living a double life. It's like there's a lack of trust here where you're not able to view them as someone that you could actually believe or maybe you're questioning everything that they're communicating to you. But as far as the Four of Swords goes, it's like you're trying your best this week to heal from this um, ending or this separation and you you're more so looking at looking at it as an ending and four of swords is not only about healing it's like um, some sort of critical thinking taking place while you're in a period of solitude you may find that you're thinking about this person more frequently this week or you're feeling a lot more like your um, your emotions are feeling a lot more intense you're more sensitive towards what's going on right <clears throat> but I do feel like, you know, what I'm initially getting is you or what I was initially getting is you trying to heal from what has happened. And there's some sort of critical thinking that's taking place while you're healing, right? So whether it's like receiving the truth or something that was a bit confusing to you about this connection in the past is you feel more clear minded about it now. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah. I mean, you see the potential here, but you feel like it would take a lot of effort. Eight of Pentacles is not just effort, it's practical effort. So you're like kind of thinking if there's not a choice that's going to be made or if there's not going to be any effort that is being put forward into this connection, then this is just going to be a connection where we feel deeply towards each other, but nothing is being done about it. Because with the lovers, it's like you know you feel very connected to this person, but then you also know a choice is not being made. And there's a lack of effort. That's what that's what is being emphasized in your feelings. You may feel like you invested a lot of time and energy into this connection, but you're starting to question whether you are receiving the same amount in in return, right? Or or do things feel very one sided to you? That could be you know like a question that's crossing your mind. And there's something very intense about this connection. And so I also feel like your emotions are, you know, heightened or, or you know, you're feeling a lot more sensitive in this week in particular. But as much as you're like, yes, I do feel very connected to this person. Yes, this is a very important connection to me. You're also looking at it as if, if we're not going to do anything about it or if I don't see any effort or I feel like this is one sided, should I be investing? 
I do believe your person wants to restore some sort of balance here, okay? But th this is an energy of feeling like they took too long to do something or feeling like it's too late to come forward with an apology. Because Four of Cups is this person, especially Four of Cups in the challenge position, is someone wondering if you are still even interested or if you are still feeling the same way. Four of Cups could be a lack of interest. It could be read as like boredom or becoming very impatient with the situation. And I think this person fantasizes a lot or they daydream a lot about how it would be if they were to apologize and you guys were to, you know, restore some sort of balance in this connection. But if I'm being completely transparent, they're having a hard time believing that you actually want an apology or you actually want to reconnect with them. Because <clears throat> some, something on, in your feelings here with the death card as well as the four of swords is like telling you you need to accept this ending or you need to accept that this is over. So some of you are like, I don't want to you know, plant any false hope in my mind because I don't want it to backfire on me moving forward. And on your person's end, they may be energetically sensing it because I don't see exactly that going on on their side, but I do see it as someone who's like, I want to apologize, but I don't know if Libra is going to care to hear, you know, an apology, or I don't know if that's going to result in us reconnecting with each other. <clears throat> they do feel like they did not treat you in a fair manner. So it could even be like communication. This person may feel like they were very, you know, my way or the highway, or they were more <clears throat> focused on getting their point across as opposed to hearing, um, you know, your perspective or allowing you to have the opportunity to express how you feel. So you could have felt very misunderstood in this situation. So we have the four of pentacles in their feelings and we have the eight of cups. Someone who's holding on to your energy, but they feel like, because they chose to walk away or because they chose to emotionally detach, they need to remain in that energy. And I will say, guys, something I'm persistently picking up on is a lot of ego or pride. Like someone who feels like if they were to come back around, they would have to come back around with their tail between their legs. And that's something that they're having difficulty processing. So four of pentacles is when you're holding on to something, but you're also holding back. It's not like you're doing anything about it. And furthermore, with the eight of cups, this could be someone who's still thinking about you and thinking about the separation, but there's something here that they're not able to offer you. Eight of Cups is dismissing or walking away from a situation because a key component is missing emotionally. So this person may feel, you know, in, in your feelings, we do have like this energy of you feeling like a choice is not being made. So this person may know that, yes, I feel connected to Libra, but if I'm not going to make a choice or if I'm not ready to make a decision, then I can't come back around. We have the Knight of Cups and the Moon card. What they're hiding from you is they feel guilty for not apologizing or telling you how they feel. But I will say this is someone who faces great difficulty with just being completely open and telling you, hey, you know what, this is affecting me. Or hey, you know what, I am upset. Or I am hurt by what has happened. They suppress a lot of their emotions, if not all. And with the Knight of Cups being clarified by the moon it's an energy of yes i am feeling you know bad or I, I i am feeling like i want to emotionally confess but i think i should just keep it to myself so they are thinking about this um they are thinking about telling you how they feel but that's all they're doing they're thinking about it you know what i mean it's not like an action-oriented energy with the moon and the four of pentacles they feel safer when people do not understand how they feel and i know that's an odd message but this is someone who really faces difficulty with being open and showing people okay you know what i am vulnerable i am going through a hard time and they feel safer when you don't know what is affecting them that's what i see in their feelings so we have the queen of swords and the ten of cups and the potential outcome okay what's the queen of swords the ten of swords what's the ten of cups the two of wands What I see in the potential outcome is, you know, accepting an ending or accepting that, you know, even if it's things need to be over for the now, right? It's accepting that because Ten of Swords is some sort of betrayal that you may feel. And Queen of Swords, you know, it is an energy of saying, okay, I know the truth of a situation. I don't want to plant any false hope in my mind. And there's something here that is causing you to feel very disconnected from this person. And I feel like it's the lack of trust. Now, Ten of Cups and the Two of Wands is someone who is thinking about a commitment with you, but the Two of Wands is more of a waiting game, whether it's waiting for the right time to say something to you, waiting for a sign from you. 
So what I see is a waiting game that is going to, you know, continue here and a realization that you have when it comes to the truth of the situation. And as much as you may be thinking about this person, there is a severe disconnect that you feel. I'm not saying you don't feel emotionally connected to them with the Ten of Cups, but Ten of Swords is in the potential outcome is you saying, okay, but I feel betrayed by you or I feel disrespected or defeated. So there's something about this connection being at a pause because of how it ended. There's some, like, this is very specific, guys, but I'm really picking up on an energy of a connection ending very quickly, almost like without a thorough explanation, could be, you know, a case of ghosting or just an energy of like, you know, maybe there's a, there was a disagreement and then both of you just chose not to speak to each other and you guys are thinking about each other, but there's a level of ego and pride involved. So let's see what they want to communicate to you. As I split the deck, guys, we have, it was my fault, but I blamed you. I couldn't let you get close to me. And this is exactly what I said. It's someone who struggles with emotional intimacy. They may be very fun to hang around with. They, they may be very adventurous and they can converse about many different things. But when it comes to digging deep or, th or speaking about things um, that have some sort of substance or, or digging deep in terms of emotions, they really struggle with that. So that's why it seems to be someone who is thinking about a commitment with you, but they are, um, there's like a waiting game. It's not like they're taking action this week. I lost myself for a little while. So they could feel like something that they said, something that they done was out of character here. I also feel like um, this goes hand in hand with the moon and, and the knight of cups. Like when this person is going through a tough time, instead of expressing it to you, it may be someone who kind of just falls off the face of the earth or they isolate. I wish I could take back my words. And this is what I was saying as I opened your read. There's some sort of, con there's a conversation that took place and it ended very abruptly. Like it led to this connection ending very abruptly. And the both of you are still thinking about, about it. So I wish I could take back my words. Could be something harsh this person said that they want to take back or they regret. I wish I could share my good news with you. Okay. So again, I do feel like this person is thinking about reconnecting with you. It's just they're not in a very action-oriented energy. And with the Four of Cups, they strongly doubt that you view them in the same light. I want you. So there's a deep desire for you. I don't doubt this person desires you, Libra. Um, bottom of the deck, we have you speak to me through music. Yeah, I definitely don't doubt this person has a desire for you. I just believe they have a hard time opening up emotionally or that's how they're feeling specifically this week. Okay. So my wonderful Librans, that is what I'm getting for you this week. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.